This is a fantastic project to make and it's like a step up on your standard easel card. So what it is, it's a regular easel card but over top of a drawer. So can you see we have what we call a slip cover drawer in the base and then we have the easel card sitting on the top. So we've already learned how to make the standard easel card which will sit on the top. I'm going to show you now how to make that drawer base. Now I'm going to talk through the measurements. We're going to work in centimetres here but remember you can work in inches if you want. Now what you need to use is our box making board. So that's an additional plate that's available for the Ultimate. And the box making board just clips into place over the card scoring section. Now this side here is my centimetre side. Or if I want to flip over, I could use inches if I preferred. Now when we're working in centimetres, let me talk you through how we do this. Because first we would need to measure this card. Now I know it's the standard width of A5, so I know it's 15 centimetres, and we can see that here, right? And it's a square card, so we know it's 15 centimetres in both directions. I'm going to start off by showing you how to make the actual draw for the inside, right? Now, I want this to be two centimetres deep. So if you think about this, we need to make a draw that is two centimetres down, 15 centimetres along, and two centimetres back up. So the size of card that we need to start with is 2 plus 15 plus 2. So that's 19 centimetres square. So I've just taken my cardstock and I've cut it to 19 centimetres wide. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to score it at 2 centimetres all the way around. So we come onto the boxer and we use the 2 centimetre score line and we fold all four sides at 2 centimetres. Now whenever we fold the side that you've scored on, you turn it away from you and burnish that crease. And it's just a nice habit to get into and gives a lovely professional finish. Now some good box making techniques here. You cut up the score line and then cut a small notch from the corner. And it doesn't matter which corner you cut up as long as you are always cutting it from the corner. So you're not wanting to cut the notch from the side. So do that on all four sides. Now I would only recommend using tape pen if you're using specifically the Crafters Companion Extra Strong Tape Pens because we've engineered these to be strong enough for box making. And then some little techniques, you fold this in and what we want to do is we want to be lining up here. Can you see we've lined up the very edge perfectly with the back edge. Let me show you that again. So we tip that under, use your finger to line that up perfectly so that you get that perfect score line. And then I'm just rubbing my fingers all over and what it does is it, it heat activates the actual adhesive here. So that little bit of friction between your fingers gives you that lovely strength. So there's our slip cover and you'll see the one that I did that was decorated, all I did is use, um, I printed a pattern onto the paper to start with. So if we pop that to one side, the next stage is we need to make this wrap for the actual drawer to fit inside. Now how we do that is, start with a long sheet of cardstock. So I always start with A3 and cut this down. And if you're unsure, if you're inventing a new size of slip cover, just take the full length of A3 and you can trim off the excess later. What you need to do is trim it to the width of your drawer. So in this case, we already know this is 15 centimetres. So I've trimmed it perfectly to the width of that drawer. Then we bring the ultimate back in. And when you're making the slip cover, what you're going to do is you're going to use the box base measurements. And these measurements aren't the same as the regular measurements from the left hand side. They are slightly offset. So they're slightly a little bit different. Now this is how you work this. If you look at this, what we're going to do first of all to make the wrap cover is we're going to need to go 2 centimetres down, 15 centimetres up along, 2 centimetres up, 15 centimetres along. Okay? So we start with the 2. So I'm going to go 2 centimetres, which is really 2 plus a little bit, and that's how it works. Fold and burnish that crease the regular way, turn it back on itself, burnish it that way, and then butt up the crease line against the hinges. So very important, we're always butting against the hinges and reading along the box base side. So that is our, you can see that's the side bit. Now we need to go along the base. So if you think the base was 15 centimetres, so I come along to 15 centimetres, 
put my score line in. I'm going to crease that score line, burnish it, fold it back on itself, and now I'm going to put that up against the side. Then I'm going to do the same thing again. I'm going to go two centimetres so that we have enough to go down the other side. Fold, burnish. Don't be tempted to think, oh, well, 15 plus 2 is 17. I'll put the next score line at 17. Because actually, the distance from here to here isn't two centimetres. It's two plus a little bit. This is the measurement that's built into the board to do all that calculation for you. The last score line we're going to go at again is 15. Now this is where I said if you're not sure about the length, just leave it a little bit longer and, and trim it off. What you need to do is you need to leave enough here to act as a gluing flap. So actually I ended up trimming off six centimeters from the length of my A3. Okay, so you can see now where that's going to go. It's actually going to go inside, but just so that you can see that there. So I put plenty of adhesive on. And a little tip, I find it easier to put the card, the, the actual box on the inside and then wrap my slip case around the box. And then I know that my box definitely fits. OK, and then all you do from here to add your easel card onto the top is bring in that core easel card and you would just put adhesive on here and the easel card simply sits on the top. And that's how you make a slip box drawer exactly the same size as your standard easel.